Hi everyone, this is Diane Dietrich of C3D and this is my latest SketchUp Quick Tip. Today we're going to learn about using the Array tool to stick 12 workstations in this uh, windowless, rather sad office space and also to quickly put six chairs around this table without moving and rotating each one by itself. If you want to follow along, just go to the 3D Warehouse and search for C3D Array Base Model and you'll have this same basic model to work with that I'm starting from. So first of all in this workspace I want a 5 foot walkway all around the perimeter. So I'm going to use my tape measure tool and I'm going to click on the edge and I'm going to drag and make sure I stay in the green axes. I'm going to click and type in 5 feet. I'm going to go from the edge also and you'll see that as you pull your tape measure out to about five feet it's going to automatically snap to that just remembering the last distance you measured so that's faster than typing in five feet over and over again so now I've got a five foot perimeter and I'm going to use one of the two copy array tools that are available I know that I want my last desk here but I don't know how far they're spaced in between so I'm going to use the array tool to help SketchUp do all this terrible math for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the table. I'm going to start on this endpoint because that's what I want to slide over and hit uh, this intersection point. So I'm going to hit M for move. I'm going to make sure my cursor is on that bottom um, lower left hand endpoint. I'm going to hit control or option on a Mac to make a copy. I'm going to slide it over until I snap to the intersection point and then I want to make three copies beyond that first desk so I'm going to hit divide which is a slash underneath the question mark three enter and I now have uh, four tables spaced evenly along this long wall. Alright now I just need to take this row and copy it over twice. The easiest to do that is to select all of them. I'm going to hit M for move and again hit control or option on a Mac. I'm going to start from this lower right hand endpoint. Oops. I'm going to hit control to make a copy or option on a Mac. Slide it over till I hit this intersection point. I want two copies this time so again I'm going to click divide by two and hit enter. So now I'm coming back later and I'm saying man I sure wish I would have added a chair to this um, before I did all this array because now I have to deal with this office chair over here. So I could bring this chair in and do the same copy array thing but the quickest thing to do would be to add a chair to this table component. So to do that I have this chair uh, floating out here in space. I'm going to select it and say edit copy. Then I'm going to open up this table component and I'm going to, to do that I'm going to edit it. I'm going to double click on it and you can now see the bounding box which is kind of odd because it's also going way over here and um, including the initial red, green, and blue axis point but that's okay. Now I'm going to go edit paste. I now have a chair attached to my cursor that I can place next to the desk hover over the top of it and use the rotate tool to turn it around and you can see all the other tables now have um, chairs also that are rotating at the same time and I can click outside of the group to close it and now have all my lovely array of tables and chairs I'll quickly use the eraser tool and get rid of my tape lines and now I have a perfectly arrayed though um, still somewhat dreary place for 12 people to work so now I'm over at my table and I need six chairs arranged around this table. I'm going to use the array tool with the rotate tool which is similar but different. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the chair. I'm going to hit the rotate tool or pick Q as the shortcut for rotate. I should snap to the center of the table group. I'm going to click once. I'm going to come up and click once on the chair. I'm going to hit control or option on a Mac to make a copy. and um, I know that if I divide 360 by 6 chairs, each one should rotate 60 degrees. So I'm going to rotate it and just type in 60 for enter. And then I'm going to push click times, which is the X, 
5 to make 5 copies instead of dividing by 5 this time. Hit enter. And great, I instantly have six chairs perfectly arrayed around this table. Now if I had a big conference room space um, that I needed to fill with, uh, again, a bunch of these, I could go ahead, select them all, right click, make them a group, and then I can move and copy uh, multiple of, um, copies of this over just like we did uh, the workstations in our first space. Getting in a small part of my SketchUp Bootcamp class, a practical SketchUp training class designed for interior architects and designers. This course offers a thorough background in the SketchUp tools and techniques most important to design professionals creating interiors. The aim of this e-learning course is to systematically teach you a progression of tools so you understand how to quickly and efficiently integrate SketchUp into your workflow. There's eight hours of video that you can access at your own pace and as often as you like. To learn more, Go to my website, seeddd.com, to the classes page.